friends hi parents uh, coming back again with something new to add on winter seasons are on i have dr ravi with me i am dr shweta both of us are pediatrician and neonatologist from manipal hospital whitefield in terms of management uh, do you want to tell a little bit about the flu panel test what we are doing off late now and how is it helping on which viruses we need to treat which one you don't need to treat Correct. So, in influenza viruses, four commonest viruses which are we pick up in the test. It's a flu panel test, as Dr. Ravi said. It is a swab test. It's not a blood test. So, parents are at ease when it is not blood. First thing which they become very hesitant. Do we pick the child? No, no. So, commonest viruses which we pick are H1N1, influenza A, influenza B, para influenza A, and B, RSV virus or adenovirus. So, if of this. The four commonest which we pick up and we treat are flu A, influenza B, para influenza A and B. For RSV or adeno, some cross protectivity from the treatment is there, but there is no direct treatment which we do for those. But definitely, uh, there is a specific anti-flu medicine, and it has a drastic response to a child. So if we start on that, I have seen the kids getting 48 hours. excellent response and by 72 hours the parents are coming and telling the child has recovered by the tune of almost 80% so that's how it works so if we do that when we say to the parents please do it we do for the sake that because we don't want to unnecessarily give anti flu medicine a lots of gastritis and other side effects can come in so that's how we go ahead with the management but there are lots of ways to prevent doctor ravi don't you feel that we should also guide them for the prevention yeah. completely agree one as we spoke about was the uh, flu vaccine so predominantly before every seasonal starts may june july august uh, something which i would recommend all the children to take especially under the age of 5 and also senior citizens like above 55 that's one thing and anyone who's at high risk for example if you have asthma and stuff like that then uh, it is a good thing for them to take the flu vaccine second thing is uh, a balanced nutrition especially a lot of uh, uh, fruits and vegetables uh, multi vitamins especially focusing on vitamin c so they are very helpful in boosting your uh, immunity third thing hydration plenty of fluids and exercises these are the ways to keep yourself healthy i also tell people if children are happy or adults or not teenagers are happy wear a mask especially when you come in uh, contact with someone who has got cough and cold i think these are the easiest ways for which uh, for us to prevent prevent to add on dr ravi's point also we uh, off lately give vitamin d supplements because respiratory tract infections and vitamin d supplement have a good correlation and as in india or worldwide we know almost 80% of the population is deficient in vitamin d how the season of the flu is on so please take care prevention is better than cure so come for vaccination as well as try to prevent yourself with a healthy diet healthy food and healthy environment thank, thank you. you thank you very much